Hello and welcome. Hi, my name is Kian. I am a third year medical student and today I am going to be talking about my journey to medical school. Now before we get started, I think a little bit of context is important. I was accepted into medical school after completing three years of university in a science degree at the age of 20. So if you are early on in your university career, if you are in high school, or if you're looking to get into medical school as soon as possible, I think you will gain a lot of value from this video. So in this video, Video, I am going to be talking about the time from late high school all the way to university and my acceptance into medical school and I will be talking about academics as well as extracurriculars and volunteer work that I did during this time. Hopefully this will give you some inspiration in terms of what you can do to get into medical school. So let's get started. High school academics. Academics in your GPA in high school will not directly impact your medical school application. In fact, they won't even look at the GPA that you had in high school. However, doing well in high school is important because it will set you up with good study techniques so that you can excel in undergrad. You should take courses that are related to your desired bachelor's degree so that you have a bit of a head start and a good foundation. And lastly, the grades that you receive in high school can impact what scholarships you are eligible for. On most medical school applications, they ask about accomplishments, awards, and achievements, and this may be something that you want to put there. So my big advice for high school is just try and work on your work ethic, have a growth mindset, set up good habits so that you can excel in university, but don't put too much pressure on yourself in terms of grades. If you end up doing great in high school, use that to your advantage get some scholarships, and keep those in the back of your mind in case you end up applying to medical school. Second, let's talk about extracurriculars and volunteer work in high school. So if you're planning to apply to medical school relatively early, there is a high likelihood that things that you did in high school may be able to be put on your medical school application. A great mindset to have for this is that things that you do in university are likely to have more of an impact on your med school application, so list these things first. But if you're running out of volunteer activities that you've done, you can draw on things that you did back in high school. High school is also a great time to get involved in volunteer activities that you can solidify and hope continue as you go to university. Getting great volunteer experience in high school is also helpful because now you have something on your CV to prove to future volunteer positions that you have experience and that you are reliable. So my advice in terms of extracurriculars in high school is just enjoy your time in high school, do things that are fun, take this time to explore different things. If you do a bit of volunteer work, that is great and use that to your advantage to form networks that can hopefully expand your volunteer work for when you go to university. Next, let's talk about university academics. So a question that I get a lot is, what bachelor degree did you do in order to get into med school so soon? The degree typically does not matter. If you have a med school or med schools in mind, my best advice is to look up their admission requirements. This will tell you if there are any course requirements that they're looking for. Typically in Canada, they just care that you have some English courses. In terms of choosing an undergraduate major, I chose biochemistry and molecular biology. This is because it was something that I enjoyed in high school. Not that we had a lot of exposure, but the enzyme side of biology was something that I enjoyed. And the other great thing about biochemistry is that it covered a lot of the basic sciences that pop up on the MCAT. For example, during first year, I had to take physics, chemistry, and biology. And also during my biochemistry time, I took some psychology courses. Although this wasn't part of my major, doing these as electives made MCAT prep so much easier when the time came. GPA in university is a large part of the med school application. A great way to get a ballpark idea of what you should be striving for is to look up admission statistics of the university that you wish to attend. This will tell you the GPA of the students who are accepted during the last application cycle. My best advice is that GPA is forever, so it's best to focus on your studies during this time. If you feel that the workload is manageable and you have time to volunteer, then that will certainly strengthen your application, but I don't think that you should do extracurriculars or research at the expense of your GPA. So how did I get in after three years? Basically, I wrote the MCAT after second year and started my application in that summer slash fall between second year and third year, and then by the end of third year, I got my acceptance. A lot of people don't realize that medical schools often only look for 90 credits, 
The idea here is usually that they take your adjusted GPA so that if you've taken a four year undergraduate degree, your worst year is not counted against you in terms of your GPA calculation. However, this means that if your GPA is strong enough after only three years, it is possible to apply and be accepted. Let's quickly talk about the MCAT. There are a lot of videos out there on the MCAT, so I'm not going to belabor the point, but in terms of timeline, I wrote the MCAT between my second year and third year, and that way it was able to go on my application during that cycle between second and third year and then I was accepted after third year medical school. Moving on, let's talk about extracurricular activities and volunteer work while in university. As stated before, I think it's important to always focus on your studies, however, building your CV is definitely an important part of the process. If you're worried about your GPA and you feel that you're not able to manage a heavy academic load plus a lot of volunteer work, my advice would be to focus on your school during the semester and then use your summers to volunteer. I'm going to name a few examples of some things that I did that may give you ideas this is by no means what they expect or what is guaranteed to get you into medical school. Generally, it's best to do things that you are interested in and that you can excel in. For me, these were things like music, so I taught music and continued to play in orchestras, sports, so during university, I continued to coach sports as well as do long distance running events and also volunteer at sporting events. And then of course, there are the cookie cutter pre-med volunteer opportunities, such as volunteering at a cancer agency, old folks home, or at the hospital. This is not a comprehensive list of everything that I've put on my application. However, if you're struggling for ideas, my advice would be to look up the CanMeds competencies. CanMeds is a framework that they really focus on, especially in your first year of medical school, but it relates to residents and these are skills that they are trying to help you develop during your time in medical school. If your volunteer work and extracurriculars can show that you have some of these CanMeds competencies, I think that this is a great way to create a very strong application. I didn't know about CanMeds before applying, but in retrospect, this is something that I wish I had applied. So the CanMeds competencies are being a professional, communicator, collaborator, scholar, leader, and advocate. So try and find volunteer work or extracurriculars that help you demonstrate that you're an excellent communicator or that you're a scholar or an advocate. And these are things that you can write about in your application. Last but not least, I'm going to quickly touch upon research. I had absolutely no research in terms of publications or experience when I applied to medical school. Upon starting my application, I realized that this was a huge weak point for me, so I wasn't able to put this on my application, but in case I had to reapply, I started volunteering in a lab and working in a lab. The fact that I was accepted without research, I don't think is a sign that research isn't important. I think it just shows that perhaps the expectations are different depending on where you are in your academic career when you apply to medical school. If you have completed all four years, you've taken a gap year, or you've done a math Masters, I think that the admission committee is probably expecting a bit more research from you than if you've only done two years of medical school, which is what I had completed by the time I started applying. To expect someone after two years to have publications to their name I think is quite extreme and very rare, so that is my theory as to why it wasn't a detriment to my application. However, this is purely speculation and I have never sat on a med school admissions board. Alrighty, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. My last piece of advice would be to talk to lots of other people that have been accepted to medical school, as well as watch different videos of people that talk about their journey to medicine. I think that everyone's path looks very different and copying someone else is not a guarantee that you will get in. And as mentioned in the video, I strongly recommend that you look at admission statistics as well as admission requirements from official medical school websites. This is them literally telling you what they expect from you as well as telling you what kind of people they accept. So this will give you a great edge if you're planning your extracurriculars and academic career. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. The secret symbol for the comments today is going to be two parentheses back to back, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!